Ladies and gentlemen, I want to talk to you guys about J. Sean Boyd, a 22-year-old male from Elizabeth, New Jersey, who is held in Essex County Correctional Facilities and is fighting for his life in a coma as we speak. Now, the man was in custody since September 9th and was housed in a designated gang unit. Now, the reason why he was in custody was because in 2020, he had a domestic altercation involving his mother and his brother. Now, for some reason, the man missed his sentencing back in July. They put out a bench warrant for him, and that's how he wound up being in custody. Now, it's being reported that he's not in any gangs, but the man is a schizophrenic. Now, in less than a month of him being in custody, on September 23rd, six inmates beat the brakes off this man. And when I say beat the brakes off of him, they left them in a coma. Now the attack happened on September 23rd and as of November 22nd, the man is still in a coma fighting for his life. Now, if you want to see the video of that graphic beatdown, definitely click the link in the description. It's on our locals. Now, unfortunately, I can't show that video on YouTube because YouTube will shut it down. But just to give you the details of what happened in the video, six men wind up chasing this guy, catch him, beat him down, pummel him. I'm talking punches to the face, stomp him, everything. Then eventually you see the man go unconscious. From there, the men leave his limp body, but then double back and they just stomp him. And when I say they curb stomped him, Seth Rollins curb stomp has nothing on what these men did to him. They stomped him, stomped him. The man was clearly unconscious, couldn't do anything. And from there, they wind up picking up an industrial mop, beating him with it. Then they went to the extreme picked up a microwave, slammed it dead on his head. Not once, but a couple of times. That microwave got destroyed. They picked up another one. That microwave got destroyed. Then it looked like they picked up a water cooler or something, slammed it on his head. Then they picked up a second microwave, slammed that on his head till it was destroyed. And I forgot to mention, one of them yellow pails that they used for the mops, they slammed out on his head and all the solution fell on the guy. And then when you thought it was all over, one of them picked up the industrial mop and when I tell you they pummeled him to the face, all you could see was his body jerking and his limbs just laying there lifeless. I'm giving you a warning, it's very graphic. Now watching this video, I felt sorry for the man. It's not like he was in there for rape, robbery, assaulting children. He was in there for a domestic altercation. So that's why I feel sorry for the guy. Now, if it was for anything of the above, I might have felt maybe a smidget, and I mean a very smidget sympathy for him. But at the end of the day, like G Depp said, can't do the crime, shouldn't have caught the cases. Let this be a wake up call for those who want to indulge in criminal activity. Let them see exactly what happened to these scumbags when they go in. Now, I don't know what started the altercation, but that lets you know this is a possibility of things to come for you. See, you get a lot of cats who be like, yo, I ain't afraid to go to jail. I'll do a bit. Yeah, real niggas all day. Just me, by myself, on the block, holding it down, gun in my waist, straight face, all day, not a game, in jail, by myself. You ever go night night, nigga? Everybody go night night, nigga. Well, I promise you this. If jail systems was like this, I promise you, people would think twice about doing these crimes. Now, at no point did that man deserve this because the reason he was in there was not something that was egregious. I don't know the details of the altercation, but if he was a schizophrenic and was due to get five years probation, I'm pretty sure it's not as bad as rape or robbery or something that's very egregious. And then those six men, a few of them did walk away, but you saw there was a good handful of them that stayed there and pummeled the guy. And you gotta have no type of heart for you to actually pummel a guy to the point that he's unconscious and you see that he's unconscious, can't fight back, can't defend himself, and then you pursue to take those measures to actually end this man? Like, I'm wondering, what did this man do that made y'all attack him? What exactly went down that made you guys basically try and kill this man and his life in the most brutal way possible? And this is why I don't believe in criminal reform, because do these guys look like they're a person who can be rehabilitated? Do they look like criminal reform will work for these guys? Absolutely not. See, with criminal reform, that individual has to want to reform on his own or her account. It's not gonna be a program that's gonna make that person change their life or change their ways, no. You gotta decide while you're in there 
I'm going to make these changes. Because a lot of people who do come out of prison or come out of jail and they make changes, while they're in there, they already say to themselves, I'm going to make these changes. I will not wind up back in here. You don't need a program to correct your mindset. Now, unless you have some type of mental health issue, then yeah, I get it. That person needs some type of therapy or whatever the case may be to help that individual. But criminal reform, nah, I'm not buying it. And that's the thing. A lot of these people are getting released into society. And who do you think is going to suffer? Us, the taxpayers, the people who aren't indulging in these criminal activities. And then I got to ask, where were the correction officers while this was going on? Because you didn't see no correction officer, no police, nothing. Nobody trying to stop these men or anything. So where were they? What are you getting paid all this money for? For a man to go like, what, four or five minutes of constant beating and assault to the point now he's fighting in a coma? Is this what we're paying our correctional officers for? What does that say about that facility? But on the opposite end of the spectrum, if this type of stuff went on in every prison, I guarantee you a lot of people who want to commit crimes, they'll think twice when they see what could actually happen to them when they're incarcerated. Now, people with non-violent crimes, yeah, keep them separate. And the animals... Put them in an environment like that. Let that be some criminal reform. And I guarantee you, people will probably think twice when it comes to crimes. Again, I do feel sympathy for the man, but at the end of the day, if you didn't miss your sentencing, this would have never had happened. So that falls squarely on you. That's going to do it for this episode of Matter of Opinion. If it's your first time here, definitely hit that subscribe button. Thanks to those who support the channel. And don't forget to like, share, check out our Discord. And definitely don't forget to check out the video on Locals. The link for everything is in the description. I'm Walsh P, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. It's a matter of a